What's going on, everybody? This is Dylan Roy, and I am back on the Haha Sanda server. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Sorry for no upload this weekend. I had to go to my brother's tournament in Austin. He had that Taekwondo tournament. So did really well. He got two first place trophies. I want to show you guys the, uh, the amount of <laughs> slime balls I have so far. This has only been, it's probably about a week since this has been up, and it's doing really, really good. Uh, People have been taking from this too, so it's very nice to see that filled up. Uh, I also made it to where pumpkin and melons are in here. Uh, this is doing pretty good. I mean, for not having to actually work at it, <laughs> it's it's really really good. And I also upgraded my microphone here. So before this just did, you know, potatoes, carrots, you know, just flip the lever and hold right click and it worked. But what I did was. I made it to where, you see how those get stuck back there? Flip this lever here, and you can pick it up. And also, you see that there is a jungle log there. You just take the cocoa beans, and you flick this lever here, which actually unlocks a, a piston. It drops a piston down, so when you flip this lever, it goes up and down. So I can, you know, hold that click, and it works really, really well. So how this works, is it grows? Oh, not that one. It grows the uses the bone meal to grow the cocoa bean, and then when it comes back down, it breaks, and then it comes up, grow it, and just keep going and going, going. And just in that little bit of time, I got a lot, so it, it works very well. Put that back up so people don't get confused. Yeah, and it's basically just this circuit here, and this goes off of here and goes down into the piston. Yeah, works very well. Not had any problems with it. Got a lot of resources from this. Uh, I put a bunch of this in my my dead kitten box, <laughs> and I have to come down here to get a couple things for this episode. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be building a shop. You can see by all the doors, I'm going to be building a door shop, and not just any door shop. I'm going to be making real fake doors. <laughs> a lot of you probably don't watch Rick and Morty. I know some of you do. Rick and Morty is a great show. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was a lot of fun watching that show. And I've marked off an area over here. Ow. That I want to build. It's not going to be a big shop, because, I mean, it's just fake doors. <laughs> but I think I wanted to start off right here. I need to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, five. So I'm gonna be building a bunch of doors on the outside of this for the shop. Um, can I come off here? No, not you. That's bad. Okay. And yeah, it's just, just a bunch of doors. <laughs> And I would be selling doors, and I, I know people aren't going to really use this shop a whole lot. It's more like a novelty of having real fake doors on the server. Because <laughs> we've been watching Rick and Morty, and trying to get Degda to watch Rick and Morty for a while now. We've been watching it on, uh, you know, as, as a group on Rabbit, and <laughs> really, really enjoying it. So yeah, I'm just going to build doors on all sides here. Uh, got a trap door, and I haven't really designed a roof for it. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it open. And if I, you know, I'll probably figure something out off camera. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build this up, guys, and then furnish it. And then we have one more project for this episode. And I'm really excited for it. So I'll be back then. Okay, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and built this, the four walls. I had the doors. <laughs> what kind of look like doors. I think this one needs a little bit more work. Maybe. Oh. Maybe if we put it like that. Looks a little bit better. I don't it's freaking out in there. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Kind of looks like a dark oak door. And then we got what kind of looks like an acacia, but super freaking bright. <laughs> and then iron, and then I did just a normal trap door. I didn't want to do brown because there's brown on the other side. It looks really funky, but it serves the purpose, I guess. And then uh, I didn't know how this was going to look, but I wanted to put some iron down here, some sea lanterns that I got from Skip. Thank you, Skip, by the way. And uh, some birch doors. And I think if we 
make the floor out of this iron trap door and leave like a block in between, I think it'll look cool. I haven't haven't tested this out or anything. <laughs> Just kind of winging it. And of course I can't have that as a trap door because I don't think a door will actually fit on it. Which kind of sucks, but we'll work out a pattern or something. Maybe, yeah, this door right here will have a door on it. And that, that doesn't look too bad. It's very different. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. I kind of like it. I didn't want to put actual trap doors, just the regular wood ones down. Because I didn't want people falling down and not being able to get back up, even though they, they potentially could. But Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll just put an iron block down. Put you in there. For the, f for the walkway here. And then... We'll place a door here. I'm not sure what'll go good with the red. Maybe just a normal iron or a normal uh, door, or maybe just an acacia door. How would how would that look? I guess it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> and I want to put. Actually, I want those trap doors back. <laughs> there we go. I want to put up like. That's two, two. See, I can't put one there, but maybe we can come out with a new shelf design over here. I do want to put one back there. Here, I want to keep these level on both sides, otherwise it's going to drive me insane. If we put one there, one there, one there, one there. One there, one there. Oh yeah, that works out. We'll grab some chests. I think I've got some in this one. Oh yeah. Super full inventory. <laughs> so we go chest, 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 chest. Oh, that looks good. And just for curiosity's sake, can I place doors on top of... Let's see, can I get some more birch? Uh, don't have any wood on me. Just, no, get out of here. Concrete powder. Yeah, I can't place doors up here. Dang it. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool if I can put some doors on shelves up here. Because I've got to plaster doors on the walls, too. And I've got them down there. But I want to put a payment chest. And then we can go ahead and start filling these up with the doors. There. As you can see, I've got a lot of doors. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only have six here. So I'm going to have to put in three more chests. Okay. Maybe I don't want to put any in the corners there. I might be able to go right above them. Good. Because I gotta put in three. Okay, if we go maybe one there, one there, and then there's one more I've gotta put in. Let's make it uneven. Well, I guess one side's gonna have to be uneven, right? Maybe if we go one, two. And then we put the payment chest in the ground here. Yeah, that'll work, I guess. Put there and there. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work good. And I'm going to go ahead and fill these up. I, I know I've got them separated out in these shulker boxes. It's probably a lot easier just to leave the shulker box. But I don't want people going, oh, I can take a shulker box. Well, that's one, two, three. That's only four shulker boxes then. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and trust people. I can do that, I believe. <laughs> Let's get rid of you and you. Okay, so I want the iron trap doors right there, or the iron doors. And I, I want them to come outwards, not upwards. Actually, no, it's... Let's go ahead and put them the other way. There we go, that looks better. So there's the iron doors. 
And I think I'm going to name the price in here. Okay, I had to come back here because I want to name the price of these doors and everything. So, one diamond per 64. Or, I guess I could say stack. Okay. This is the birch door and the other doors. These are going to be two diamonds per stack. And then the trap doors are going to be because these actually require more wood and less iron, but iron's free, so I'm not really and put a value on diamonds, and then this one was the two diamonds. Ah. Diamonds per stack. Ah. Okay. So now that we have them all named, I can go place them down now. <laughs> I had to come all the way over here for a freaking anvil because I don't have one. I guess I could have made one, but... <laughs> it's just easier this way, I guess, because I had to come sleep too. So let's head back over, see how this looks from afar. Looks so derpy. So tiny too. It's ridiculous. Uh well oh well. It's just putting some putting some stuff in here. Okay, so the three diamonds was the trapdoor, which I want right here. And let's move it closer. Let's put it on here. So it's three diamonds per stack. And then birch this one's got the, the birch and stuff. I can put it over here. And this is the spruce doors. And then this one must be the iron doors. Okay. So there we go. I didn't make any signs. Did I have any in my wood chest? I, I have wood in my wood chest. I can make some signs. Three should be fine. Let's, let's label this with a... Payment chest, and then yeah, that looks really good. Actually, we're going to put a sign here. We're gonna say the name of it. Welcome to Real Fake. Doors. <laughs> good, good way to type. Welcome to real fake doors. Prices are inside shulker boxes. We'll just do it that way. And people can look and see what they are because that makes it a heck of a lot easier and I think you can do that with chests now too like I can I can name this uh, payment chest and it'll, it'll say payment chest up here I think I might do that actually I went all the way over there to get an anvil I wonder if I actually have one in my survival box I, d I don't um, I do have a cocaine box though I can make one which is what I should have done to begin with but Anvil. Let's name one of these chests. Payment chest. And then let's break this one. Place that one down. Yep, and it says payment chest. Sweet. Okay, guys. I think what I want to do is take regular trap doors and put it on the ceiling maybe that way it's not spawnable spaces and I, I do have to add some torches or something up top there because I don't want mobs spawning on top of this and dropping down on people because that would not be good <laughs> so I think I've got 
plenty of wood here that I can make some more trapdoors. God, the, the freaking inventory is crazy. I'm going to need 50 trapdoors, so it's not enough. Yeah, that should be fine. And I want to head up top. I don't have any ender pearls, so I'm going to have to pillar up. Yay. We use gravel. And I want to just place it like that. There we go. Oh, I misplaced. Uh, where's my... There we go. The only thing about this is going to be weird looking at the acacia door. Because of the back of it. But I'm not worried about it. Placed again. I guess it really doesn't matter. These aren't spawnable spaces. I mean, these are. I'm thinking about just putting trapdoors maybe on top of it and then doing the tops of those. I'm not sure. I mean, the iron door will be easiest because I can put iron trapdoors up there. And you really can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, I guess. Kind of weird, but oh well. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'll, I'll finish this off off camera, guys. But I want to show you. I'm gonna be moving soon, so I want to show you where I want to be moving to. Yeah, you really can't see the top there. That's really good. So we're gonna head over there real quick. I'm gonna clean up this mess, and then we'll get over there and show you where I'm going to be moving to. Okay, so the wither farm is there. I think I made the portal over on this side of it. Should be right over that hill. And I think off to the left. So it's not too far away from spawn. It's like 4,000 blocks out. Which really isn't too far in this game. <laughs> Should be right around in here. I know I made a portal, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, right over here, right over here. Okay, I'm excited. I'll have to go and get that. Close, it's really close there. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> Just becoming day, so that's a good thing. So yeah, <laughs> here we are. I'm going to be living in an ocean. Uh, do you guys see that down there? Do you guys see that down there? <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a monument under there. There's already two in the works right now, and I think might be one more, and I'm gonna have one. So. There's going to be a lot of prismarine going around, but I'm only going to be making um, probably sea lanterns in mine because I don't like the way the other blocks look. So that's all I really care about is the sea lanterns. And when I get enough, I'll probably just shut the farm off. But yeah, I have, I've never built in there before. So that'll be probably next episode. I'm going to conquer that and then I'm going to start getting you know some work done out here. Plans for this area, huge, abstract massive <laughs> um farms i want out here is a creeper farm and then a hostile mob farm so i want two separate farms so i can go to one end and you know like i need more glowstone or you know switch supplies and i can you know just spawn them there and then if i need just gunpowder i can come over here and afk so even though my computer doesn't let me afk for more than 30 minutes because my internet sucks but <laughs> I mean, I can't help that. I, I really can't. So, As it starts raining, I'm ending the episode. So it does. Oh, not that one. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>